What is the best case scenario of an actual nuclear war? One of the bombs lands directly on top of you, and you instantly disappear. That isn't a good outcome of a full-scale nuclear war. Why in some bunker shit is gonna be so fucked in one of those places after a few years you would wish you were dead? And will leave if you're even able. And then get eaten alive as first by there. Your best option is to stumble blindly into a group of modern-day hunter-gatherers somewhere far away who for some reason don't just kill you or leave you to be eaten alive as first by something. Minor nuclear skirmish killing a few dozen million. Subsequent fallout will cause a rise in cancer, and the loss of major financial centers will cause a global economic depression. Play weeks of emails from our bosses telling us we're all in this together. Uh, that WFH isn't financially feasible once the rubble is cleared and will need to be in office at least three days a week soon. Somewhere someone will cause a riot at a food distribution center because they were asked to wear a gas mask. Not that I'm advocating for their use, but modern nuclear weapons no longer leave the radiation. So best case scenario, a nuclear war would not be fought against a non-state actor or with old technology bombs and that the war ends quickly. Hosts in the best case scenario where someone uses them. I would like to think that they would be justified. So in that case, whatever country is doing some Nazi level shit to deserve being bombed loses. Then Affleck figures out what the bad guys are up to, but not before they detonate the bomb. Morgan Freeman is killed in the blast, but President Cromwell makes it out alive. Any of the top brass are saying to launch a first strike, but there is one scarred old crotchy Russian guy who is telling President Hines to wait, and that there might be more to this than it seems. Any hot nuclear war is going to sense it high up in the atmosphere beyond where it'll get filtered out by rain. The survivors will absolutely have to deal with a drop in climate temperature to some extent. A few tactical nukes aren't a big deal, given there is no escalation after that. However, many firestorms from immolated cities worldwide could be really bad. Basically don't count on crops for a decade or so. Probably millions die but the situation manages to de-escalate. There was a poll of experts in 2008 that is more likely 30 than nuclear extinction 1, or over a billion dead 10. Not to downplay it. It just doesn't mean that we'll be in the fallout games, necessarily. Depends on a lot of factors. Nuclear Holocaust Wikipedia. Or quickie nuclear holocaust likelihood of nuclear war. Parishing in the initial strike. Those left behind for nuclear winter will have it far worse. There will be a small group of people, probably South America, New Zealand that may remain relatively free of damage at least to some degree. That's where humanity will survive, but you will have a full global reset. Back to the 1800s in many ways including the global population. A small nuclear exchange of a dozen warheads of less occur, and then all sides involved back down and come to their senses. If you want a realistic depiction of what would happen in a serious exchange, look up the UK film threads. It's about the aftermath of a moderate nuclear exchange between the USSR and NATO. This video is not actually about nuclear war, but an asteroid strike, which is similar to the worst case of nuclear war. Come watch. VFI 07 VYQ 8 RN 8. EGIT, please have audio on. This artist is known for his music. You live somewhere that gets hit directly. You don't have to be one of the poor bastards trying to eke out a living in the post apocalyptic wasteland. It's not gonna be some fun wasteland like a video game. It'll be hell on earth for survivors. Here, the nations involved understand how precarious a situation is. So they play a slow game of, say, Uncle slowly escalating nuclear retaliation rather than having a four-hour war that kills everyone. If you see a mushroom cloud that you can hide behind your thumb get on your belly facing away, lift yourself off the ground a few inches with your knees and elbows and keep your mouth open. This will save you from the shockwave. Who? Putin could sacrifice Moscow and go east while wiping out Europe and North America and as the only remaking superpower, after his closest ally China. The aftermath will be little more than oops. Best cases, 
that scientists were wrong and there won't be a nuclear winter. Just like scientists were wrong in believing that a nuclear explosion could ignite the whole atmosphere. A full wipe, everyone gets vaporized instantly. No one survives. No one will suffer through radiation burns and the post-apocalyptic the row type of living afterwards. Limited exchange like the parties nuking at each other's fleets or regional exchange like Israel and Iran especially if Iran's nukes aren't ready and it's one-sided. Nukes might not even exist. It seems more like psychological warfare than reality. Look at the old nuclear test footages. It all looks fake for sure. Matthew Broderick convinces the other side that their actions are futile by playing tic-tac-toe dot dot dot. Both sides agree to a nice game of chess instead. Neutron bombs everywhere. Killing billions but leaving their houses intact. Surviving Gen Z and millennials finally get to be homeowners. Governments are vastly overestimating the power of new nuclear missile technology in an effort to scare each other. And it's not that bad. I would say best case realistic scenario is several major world cities get hit and it stops after one round lots of damage just from that. A scattering of humans survive and birth those who will begin to rebuild SOS. Oops a reactor just had a meltdown we are fucked. Best case scenario is that the West has some top secret anti-nuke tech which will only be revealed once the need for it arises. One bomb is used and targeted in the middle of a desert killing no one. Then everyone realizes it's pointless and gives up that you already live off grid in central Wyoming. And then Yellowstone erupts. Or... I guess you could live in New Zealand. All the bombs don't explode and instead just reveal a bit of fabric with the word bang written on it. Bugs Bunny style. For who? For me. I'm killing myself as soon as the nukes start dropping. Who wants to even try to live through that? Restraint. For example, if Putin uses a tactical nuke in Ukraine, the response shouldn't be dropping nukes on Russia. New Zealand and the east coast of Australia remain unscathed, and the world is subsequently taken over by mad cunts. I would like to be one of the first ones that get eliminated. I do not want to be here when everything collapses. When the bombs drop, hopefully I'll be close to an old refrigerator so I'll have safe refuge. Indy wouldn't lie. The entire Earth is blanketed all at once and the planet can rebuild its ecosystems and climate without humans. That the bombs used are used for immediate destruction and not leaving as much radioactive fallout as possible. The best thing that could happen is the Earth recovers and hosts other intelligent life that is better than us. That the current corrupt politicians of all nations go hide in a bunker somewhere and we weld the doors shut. The protons win. The neutrons are kind of neutral about everything which makes their personality weird IMO. There's not a best case scenario in the event of a nuclear war. The best case scenario is not to have one. Every nuclear country expending its total arsenal, everyone and everything is dead except the cockroaches. Test case. The human race is completely wiped out. May any surviving animal life not suffer our stupidity. Best case for the planet is that human population centers are targeted with neutron bombs, all of them. Russia's nuclear weapons don't work or are destroyed before they can be launched into western cities. The surviving organisms evolve to be resistant to radiation allowing for more survivable space travel. Best case... You are a super rich Australian with a bunker prepared for 50 years of more living. All the bad people realize the error of their ways and delicate themselves to helping children. To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentations of their women. There is a limited exchange that only costs us a city or two before both sides decide to stop. Depends. In a mad scenario, your best bet is to be in the first to go quickly and painlessly. There's not going to be a nuclear war. This is all a gigantic face-saving pissing contest. To be instantly obliviated or so far away that you're perfectly safe and nothing changes. Fallout isn't such an issue as before. Proximity to impacts is of much greater concern. Sit quietly under a tree. Spread your knees. Put head between knees. 
Kiss asks goodbye. The best case scenario is to be near a target and be incinerated in the initial strike. The bomb lands directly in my morning cornflakes before I even know what's going on. You die in the first blast dot dot. I have seen threads. I don't want to be a survivor ha ha. Massive solar flare destroys all circuitry just before they hit the big red buttons. If the current development continues you won't have to wait another week to find out. Humans go extinct and some wiser species takes over. You did say best case, right? Cockroaches survive, and a billion years later their descendants have another one. Humans hide away in mountains and vaults. Years later they come out and rebuild. Bombs are faulty and when they hit, it will not explode. Just crushed and ruined. The enemy is vanquished and you have sustained minimal damage and casualties. Are you familiar with the game Fallout? Or the current TV show based on it? You'll really act like mad isn't a thing. Don't buy into fear mongering, FFS. Less CO to for good so no more Greta Thunberg in the media and no more media. The world responds with conventional weapons and obliterates the launcher. The best case scenario is that you are not directly part of the conflict. All the bombs are too old to work. No one remembers how to make new ones. I just recently watched Fallout on Prime, and Nima have to go with that. Every human is wiped out, but all the other animals are fine somehow. You're vaporized instantly and don't have to worry about the fallout. That me and my family friends survive and live happily ever after. T-T-A-P-S. That all humans die. We've destroyed this planet for long enough. Just move to Argentina and stay there until everything calms down. Everyone dies and humanity stars over hopefully with compassion.